I used to be really upset if I missed a Sabbath. It took me a while, but now I feel that the energy of the Sabbath lasts a lot longer than just a day. For me, it feels like a season, so I try to celebrate throughout the entire month. During this time of year, I struggle with seasonal affective disorder, so when it hits me really heavily, I often feel depressed, unmotivated, drained, and lethargic instead of fighting the cold and darkness. I've learned to embrace it by finding ways to appreciate the season, by doing things I enjoy and spending time with those that I love. Things that fill my heart with bliss. It was snowing when I recorded this portion of the video, so I took this opportunity to open my witchy room window. As the cold wind blew inside, I invited in the energy of winter. Sensing the seasonal shift, I felt it was time to change up my altar for Yule. After removing all of my Samhain stuff, I gave my altar a nice refreshing cleanse using snow water that I collected during one of last year's snowfalls. This particular snow water is really meaningful to me because it's connected to a really happy memory. So not only did I cleanse my altar, I brought in some happy energy. I was really excited to set up and decorate my altar, so I adorned it with things that are significant to me this time of year. I like to use items that are aesthetically pleasing to me because it helps me to get into the mood of the Sabbath and I feel like it elevates my practice. Some of the items were passed down to me through the family, so they hold a lot of sentimental value. I also like to make natural things a part of my altar when I can. So I used some fruit, warm spices, herbs, and other bits of nature. I also created a crystal grid to help aid me with coping with my seasonal affective disorder and shadow work. I also made some pillar candles for my altar. They didn't turn out that great, but the important thing is that there's intention behind them. The green one represents the Oak King, evergreen energy present this time of year and hope of new growth eventually in the spring. And the red one represents the Holly King, the gradual return of the sun, love, and the hearth and home. I really love how my altar space looks at night with the soft glow of string lights and warm illumination of flickering candlelight. I also burned a yule log to cleanse away any negative energy that might be lingering around from this current year, making room for positive energy for the coming new year. I hope that you all have a very blessed solstice and a fantastic new year. I would love to know what you're doing for yule, so if you'd like, feel free to share in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and I wish you the brightest blessings. Until next time.